Starting your kids out riding could be nerve-wracking. Ideally, you'd want to just roll them up in some bubble wrap and call it a day. Welcome to our kids motocross gear guide. I'm going to show you just a few things that we've picked out to keep your kids riding safe, from beginner PB rider to the next mini Carmichael prodigy. When it comes to youth helmets, majority of them are going to be about just the same thing, give or take a few vents here and there, and most are made from a polycarbon outer shell, like this HAC CLXY. It's lightweight, it has great ventilation, it's DLT rated for safety, but best of all, it's right around 80 bucks. Or if you wanted to step up just a tad to about 120 bucks, this is the Thor Quadrant. It's DOT and ECE rated for safety. It just goes through a different safety test. Nonetheless, it's a still polycarbonate shell with a removable liner and it has a nice venting scheme and so on and so forth. If budget is no concern for your little bundle of joy, the 6D ATR1 youth helmet is just under 600 big ones. It's on the complete opposite side of the spectrum. This has to be one of the most advanced helmets for both youth and adult for riders, period. Now, for one, offering a strong, extremely lightweight carbon fiber Kevlar and fiberglass shell, it also has premium features like a Coolmax antibacterial moisture wicking liner and an incredible venting scheme. But what sets this helmet apart from the others is the ODS system it has in it. This system in the EPS liner reduces trauma to the head in the crash by an energy management system. There's so much more going on with this helmet, you can read more about it on our blog at twowheelmania.com. It's pretty amazing. Neck braces are a key item to safety, just as important as a helmet is, especially for kids and their fragile necks. This is Liet's 5.5 GPS neck brace. Basically, what this does is disperse the energy of a crash to the shoulders and collarbone because those areas can withstand more of a load. The design in the front and the back prevent the neck from hyperextension and hyperflexion, and it gives you lateral support side to side as well. The 5.5 is easy to adjust. You can even do it on the fly. You really want it to fit properly to optimize the protection that it has to offer. It has an adjustable spine stabilizer and removable adjustable pads. You can really dial the fit in. Every kit is different, so that's an awesome feature. Now, keep in mind, this is an investment, but you can get multiple seasons out of it because it can grow with the child. And you always want to inspect the brace after every crash. Moving down the list now, this is Liet's 5.5 Pro Youth Chest Protector. This of course was designed to work directly with the neck brace, so getting it on and off is very simple to do. It has these cutouts in the front and in the back, and this is pretty loaded as far as chest protectors go. You have this hard outer shell that passes CE standards. It's also vented and articulated, so it'll keep them cool and allow them to have the most natural movement possible. What sets it apart is Liet's 3DF foam that's incorporated. It's vented in some areas and it has a moisture wicking property to it. But the biggest feature is the molecular energy dispersal property that it has. When there's an impact, the molecules become rigid and they tighten up and then they relax to their normal pliable state. Boots are another important aspect. They need to be able to move and flex so they have better feel for the bike and have better control. And of course protect their toes and ankles. These are Fox Racing's Comp 5 boots. They have an all leather upper chassis with a molded sole, and as they break in, they'll become softer and have great mobility. The molded sole adds to the structural strength of the toe box and the heel cup. O'Neill has something very similar to that. These are the Element Youth boots. They have a full upper leather chassis with molded TPU, and then they have an easy buckle system with a molded sole. You can get gear from your favorite brands like Shift, O'Neill, Answer, Fox, and Fly. There's a ton of options available, way too many to list, but here's a great way to get some entry level gear. This is a jersey and pant combo from Ocelot. The jersey is moisture wicking, it has sewn in elbow padding, and a v-neck collar for comfort. Now the pants are really nice also. These are lightweight, stretchy, and they're made from a heavy duty denier nylon, all with a much less expensive price tag. Now for the little, little ones, Fox has a good assortment of peewee gear like these Comp 5s and this Titan Sport chest protector. The boots are just like the regular Comp 5s, just miniaturized. They're so small you can almost hang them in your rear view mirror like a pair of dice. They have a full leather construction with a suede burn guard and some molded plastic for protection. The chest protector has hard plastic shoulder cups and a chest plate with perforated foam in the chassis, so it's going to be really easy and comfortable for the kids to move around in. And then you also have some adjustments in the waist and then on the arms as well. One last thing you might want to consider for your kids is elbow pads. Chances are they're going to be falling quite a bit, so just like everything else I've showed you today, there's a lot of other options available. But if you are looking for peewee sizes, Fox has the Titan Sport Series, which are going to be your smallest option. 
So those were a few things to keep your kids riding safe and protected. Now here are a few things to get them up and going. First off, a Strider bike. This teaches our kids how to balance not using any pedals. They push off and they learn to coast. It was designed especially for kids, so you'll find that the handlebars are very narrow along with the grips and the seat is very narrow as well. The wheels never need air, so you don't have to fight with any tubes or anything, and it easily adjusts. There's a few other models with some extras. These work great. Another is a set of training wheels. This is an alternate way of teaching them how to balance and how to build their confidence. These are pretty simple to install, and they pretty much cover just about every model from a TTR to a JR50. It's a powder-coated steel axle with pneumatic off-road wheels. So that was quite a bit of stuff to look at, but it's all worth it in the end. We want to teach them how to ride, but keep them safe at the same time. And like I've said before, this video was just an idea of what to look for. So take this and use it as a guideline. Check out some other stuff, whether it be a different brand, a different model, or even something different just to fit your budget. Whatever it is, you know you'll be sure to find it at shapmoto.com or in store. If you have any questions, subscribe to our YouTube channel and feel free to leave them anytime or call one of our customer service reps. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch our kids' motocross gear guide. I'm Matt. We'll see you again.